And the sequel will probably suck. I was wrong. And I'm glad I was wrong. Now, first things first, I'm wearing my Jurassic Park shirt, which I forgot I had because I don't really like it. I almost threw it out. Uh, I mean, because it's so minimalist to me. But it's appropriate. You got the Trinities on there. Uh, that's Sattler, Grant, and uh, Malcolm. The T Rex, the Raptor, and the car from the first movie. Like, my kind of shirt would be like this poster here. Like, like that, where T Rex going, you know. Uh, the only reason I kept this shirt is because the girls like to compliment it. That's, that's it. But I mean, it worked out. I could wear it for this review. I was wrong all those years ago when I said the sequel would suck. I mean, there were problems, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was better than Fallen Kingdom, okay? Like, I don't get the hate for this one. Like, not at all. I mean, people like, this is how it ended. I'm like, I mean, yeah, the ending's not really an ending, but I liked it. And let's start with what I liked. The Trinity is back. All three of them are back. You know, some came back for some sequels, some sequels, some came back for others, but the Trinity hasn't been in the same movie since the first movie. And they were awesome. I like that a lot of the movie was centered around them, you know. Uh, and, you know, the other characters from Jurassic World, they're better. They're better than they were, uh, it's been long enough that you can say that they're in a relationship now. Not just that one date or whatever. And they're family with the girl from the previous movie. Only she's kidnapped mom with Blue's kid. Oh, I have stuff to say about Blue. Uh, yeah, Blue has a kid now. And that's what starts all this for them. And for the Trinity, it's... Well, like I said, what happened in the previous movie. Dinosaurs are living among us. In there, as you might expect, are are. I don't know if you hear my loud neighbor. As you might expect, they are eating a lot of people. That's what it's up for thought, though. And so they they uh. So Ellie Sadler basically she calls Alan Grant. So they go stop this because she was called by Ian Malcolm. So it was Ian Malcolm that's put all this together. That's awesome. And eventually they all meet. It's actually not until like the third act till they all meet. Like till the until the movie's almost over. Like till then it's like two different stories. The Trinity, the OG Trinity, and then the the, the new characters. And let's start with the new characters. Uh so Chris Pratt Controversy aside, I thought it was great and that's better than before. But somebody calls his name every five minutes. He just like, took that dinosaur and just and did, uh, that was awesome. Uh, and like him and like, oh uh, man. Like, I have too much to say, like, he's what he was before. Uh, only now you could add kind of sort of father to it. Same with uh, Claire. And once again, it makes sure to show you she's wearing the right shoes. Which I don't get that whole thing. She's wearing the right shoes. What's going through? And there, and I don't have too much to say about her either. Uh, I mean, she's just like she was before. Uh, they brought back comic relief, comic relief from Fallen Kingdom. And you know what? He was an improvement. I was actually liking him. He, wasn't, he, he actually acted like he was in a Jurassic Park movie, not a Scooby-Doo movie, okay? But he was, wasn't in there for long. I feel like that was for the, a lot of people like myself who didn't like him before. Was it saying he was just becoming a good, like, character? Like, they recognized a mistake and they fixed it, you know? Same with the other girl, the really badass uh, doctor girl. The Asian doctor girl with the tattoos. She's only in there for a bit. But she's, uh, yeah, she's back. And then there's, like, new, newer characters. Uh, like this uh, black girl who shows up. She could easily, if they choose to adapt it, she could play Nubia. That's uh, Wonder Woman's black twin sister, okay? 
Like, that's the effect she had on me when she showed up. And I guess she was supposed to be comic relief. And yeah, she was far better at it than the other dude from the previous movie. But she was, uh, she played it, like, again, like, it's in a Jurassic Park movie. She's just, she's real, like, she has, like, a, a military background. She's really awesome, total badass. And I was completely taken by her. I was, I really was. And, yeah. And then, uh, kind of, sort of. There's a lot of wind in hell. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, kind of, sort of, new character, but not really Dachshund. Now lightning. This literally just started. Okay. So yeah, Dachshund is back. And they recast the role, because obviously if you know what happened to the original actor, where he's at now, there's a documentary. That's all I'm going to say. So they recast him so you can finally say that line from the first movie. Dachshund, we got Dachshund here. And not be scared. Uh... And Dachshund is actually the main antagonist. I think he's more effective than Henry Wu was the past two movies. Because, well, first, he makes a good antagonist, a good heel. Henry Wu did not make a good heel. He played crazy great, right? He, 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 he did crazy. Uh, B.D. Wong did crazy real good, but I, he just, I didn't buy it, you know? And, and Henry Wu does come back. Now he's had a face turn. And by the way, heel means bad guy. Like the Riddler. Face means good guy, like Captain America. Monster heel means really bad guy, like Dark Side. And uh, baby face means really good guy, like Superman. Okay? Okay. And so, uh, Henry Wu has a face turn. After the previous movie, you wouldn't expect him to turn face at all. And he wants to stop this. He found a way to stop it, which involves... And I heard about these going in. This is what I do going in. There would be locusts and a twist about the girl. There would be something about Malcolm, but I don't know what the... Malcolm was awesome in this movie. He was one of the best parts of this movie. But yeah, the locusts, I, I didn't mind them. I mean, they were prehistoric at least. Okay? And I get what they were doing with the themes, you know... You know, uh, Malcolm was like, yeah, we're close to the end of the world, and you got the locusts showing up, and, like, it's a bit of a biblical thing there, you know, and other stuff like that, but, so whatever, and, so, yeah, through these locusts, um, uh, Henry Wu, um, um, found a way to stop all this, only Doxon doesn't want that, and so that's where all that is. And you know what it works. Henry Wu was always better as a, as a face, not a heel. So yeah. Oh, and then there's Tweener. Now a thunder. Right then. So yeah. Th th then there's a uh, Tweener, which you know comes from in between Tweener. So that'd be an anti-hero like Deadpool. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Uh. And I like what they did with Dox and, and Wu. That's how it should be. Although, Henry Wu, aside from looking a bit disheveled, longer hair, kind of sickly, no real effects were being injected with that shit from the previous movie, so. Uh, and now the Trinity. The awesome, awesome Trinity. Does Laura Dern ever age? I mean, those shots are, wow. And, oh, uh, man. It's just, just, wow. That's all I got to say. And she was awesome. It's Anne. They did reference three, so she has her kids. I was afraid they're going to retcon that, but they didn't. So with her and Grant. And, well, you know what I mean if you've seen these movies. Speaking of kids, Ian Malcolm, he references has five kids. Our people are like, well, in the second movie, he has one daughter. So that's his one and only daughter. How is that possible? Well, it's a very simple math formula. Like my dad, who himself had five boys, 
one girl, my sister, is his only daughter. Just like Ian Malcolm, that girl from the second movie, his only daughter. His other four must be boys. Okay, I like that reference. I loved it. You know, uh, and Malcolm was Malcolm. He was hilarious in this. I was kind of spoiled on one joke, which I didn't even get. Like he's putting the computer code, like, oh, said that actually work? I heard be a reference or something. Nope. Like, he was referencing a lot of stuff, putting in codes, but that final code didn't say anything. There is kind of something to it, but, you know. Uh, Alan Grant. Again, like I said, when I re uh, reacted to the trailer, uh, there was a point where Sam Neill said that this franchise that this franchise didn't need him. I reacted like that because I'm next to a window. That's the only reason. I'm not scared of thunder and lightning and rain and hail. I'm not scared of that. But being near this window, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so Alec, yeah. And now we're at this point where we needed him to come back and boy did he come back. It was awesome. And I thought based on the trailer that him and Owen were going to kind of be competing trying to lead the teams but that wasn't the case really that one moment from the trailer where we're like don't move which has long since been disproven okay so yeah a lot of different dinosaurs and I like the variations as at least three different variations for practice one of them has like a bunch of feathers so there you go you pierce there you go <laughs> uh, the thing is well, there's this one dinosaur. This looks like a giant emu. I forgot what it's called. And I love that one. That one looked great. That was the only one I think that looked great 100% of the whole movie. Like, the other ones look bad sometimes. But sometimes they look really, really good. And they look really, really good when they're practical. I'm glad they're doing that again. I'm glad they chose to do that for the final movie. Use practical dinosaurs as much as they could. But I get why they use CGI for the quicker stuff, for the, the wider shots. That's, that's, how, that's how they did it before in the first movie. And with the CGI, only sometimes looks okay. Like, especially with Blue. Blue looks hideous. Like, I know they were but ugly before in the Jurassic World movies, but Blue, especially in close-ups, my goodness. I mean, they brightened her up. That's a start, but wow. Like, wow. Blue's kid looked great, though. Blue's kid looked real great. Every single, like, that's in close ups. Like, it's a beautiful effect. Beautiful. Uh, the Gigantosaurus, that, the Gigantosaurus, wow. I, I always liked the, the Gigantosaurus, but, uh, in this one, there's almost a problem. Like, they did another fight with the T Rex, and I thought they're about to take a giant step back and take a giant step forward in Jurassic World. I thought there's a moment you're like, did we not learn? But thankfully, that's not the case. You know, and I, I really liked the dinosaur fight. I really did. That was about as graphic as this movie got. Like, every time it's like I got eaten or something, it would cut or, or pan up and you'd see blood. I know it's PG-13, but we've seen stuff in this franchise. Come on. If we can watch Venom eat bite heads off in his movies, which are PG-13 for reasons I don't know why, then this would be fine. Um, like, yeah, the dinosaurs were... I mean, the locusts look great, though. They look real great. Yeah, they did. Like, like 90% of the time, they look great. Like, I like the dinosaurs, which were... Not even 50-50, like, damn, you know? Uh, almost like they were incomplete, you know? But I like the scene uh, towards the end. Um, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but... Like it, it, and one can argue it's kind of biblical with the locust and... Fire, but uh, that, that looks so cool. It looks so cool, you know, and dare I say, kind of scary. So, yeah, uh, 
I mean, that's all I have to say about this one. I was wrong, thankfully. I don't get the heat for this one. This was so good. Like, I, I, the only movie I don't own in this franchise is Fallen Kingdom. I at least have two copies of Jurassic Park 3 somewhere in my collection, okay? I, I don't have any copies of Fallen Kingdom because I cannot bring myself to buy it. I've had opportunities pre-pandemic. I just couldn't do it. I, I, that one's worse than 3 in my opinion. And 3 wasn't all that good. You know? This one is above them both. This is the third best one in the franchise. Okay? I might do a ranking. Maybe not tonight. But I might do a ranking. Yeah, this was real. I don't get the heat for this one. Maybe the ending was a bit. Uh, just like. We live in harmony. We coexist. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. That, that's it. Like. And people talked about Malcolm. Malcolm was the best part of this movie. I don't know what people are talking about. How can you do that to Malcolm? What? They've been doing it for three decades? He literally came back to the previous movie and said, I told you. I told you. Now in this one, he's like, Well, it happened. And we're so fucked. I mean, what did you expect? Come on. Uh, yeah, no, this was fantastic movie and I, I, I would definitely buy this for my collection I would I, I don't get the heat at all alright I'm gonna alright I'm gonna uh, <laughs> wow Alright, uh, I'm going to stop now. Uh, he said, thank you for watching. Oh yeah, uh, the twist with the girl. Right. Or did I already talk about that? I referenced it. Okay, so yeah, the twist with the girl. Uh, the young girl, the kid, in the other movie. I mean, it wasn't as bad as the twist as the one from Fallen Kingdom. I mean, that it's another, one could argue, biblical thing. How she was created. Actually, it's 100% was a biblical thing, how she was created. Maybe that's why people hate it, I don't know. Movie ain't that bad. That's worse than the franchise. Thank you for watching. Okay, so, uh, I forgot. <coughs> it's not just comic relief and the awesome hot badass Asian dinosaur doctor girl with the tattoos that disappear uh, early on. It's also this woman. Uh, who set up to be, like, the main antagonist, or at least the main sub-antagonist of the movie, to the point where she tries to murder two of the, uh, Reaper, uh, Trinity, right? But then she vanishes, she just up and vanishes, I mean, they made her mysterious and everything, but you don't see her after that. That's another problem with the movie. I mean, this is how it ends, she's just out there. That's all I want to say. Thank you for watching.